received this postcard of the Philippine Eagle from Ruiz, who lives in Davao City on the southern Philippine island of Mindanao. Now, this bird is actually the national bird of the Philippines and is critically endangered. But right outside Davao City, there's actually a center that's dedicated to their conservation and preservation. This center is open to the public so that you can actually go and see the eagles and see the work that's being done to save them. From the center of Davao, buses run to the suburb area of Kalanan, and they run about on the hour. And in central Kalanan, you can easily grab a tricycle. All of the tricycle drivers in Kalanan know exactly where the Philippine Eagle Center is. The entrance fee to the center is a mere 55 Philippine pesos, which is a dollar and 28 cents. And these fees are used to run the center and promote conservation efforts. The Philippine Eagle is one of the world's largest and most powerful raptors. It is also one of the most critically endangered. They're approximately three feet long, weigh 10 to 18 pounds, Females are generally larger than males, and they have an over six foot wingspan. Eagle's diet in the wild consists mostly of flying lemurs, Philippine macaques, other smaller birds, snakes, monitor lizards, and civets. The lifespan of this animal is approximately 20 to 25 years in the wild, but up to 40 years or more in captivity. Philippine eagles mate monogamously for life, taking great care to choose their one and only breeding partner. They have no natural predators in the wild. They are the apex predator of the Philippines. However, they do have to contend with us. We are their major obstacle to survival. Now, how many do they estimate are in the Philippines right now, living out in the uh, wild? As of the moment, there are only about 300 pairs left in the wild. 300 pairs, so about 600 animals. Yes. And since they're monogamous, they stay together yes. for life. The remaining Philippine eagles live on only four of the major islands of the Philippines, and nowhere else in the world. The great majority live on the southern island of Mindanao. Repopulating the species is made more difficult because of the intricacies of their breeding cycle. Females only lay one single egg, and in order to rear that chick to maturity, it takes approximately two years. So if you, if you are a hunter, then you can, you can spot the eggs Right. And the so, owner of... Of killing one. Yeah, that's something like that. So hunters, people who go out and do this for sport... Yes, that's the worst. They want... The worst case. Happens. They risk... Well, first of all, that I'm sure that they risk enormous fines and probably prison for killing one. But they still do it just for the sake of being able to say, I hunted the world's largest eagle. Because the eagle is the national bird of the Philippines, killing one of these magnificent birds will land you in jail for 12 years. The breeding management program at the center is at the heart of what the foundation is attempting to do to bring these animals back. Now, one of the most interesting parts of this is the mating cage. There is actually an enormous enclosure that's split right down the middle in which male birds are put on one side and female birds on the others, one bird at a time, to see if the birds will actually get along and make a pair bond because that pair bond will be for life. It can take anywhere from a year to 18 months in this large divided enclosure for the birds to actually make that connection. So it's not just, you know, it's, it's a not subtle process. Yeah. It takes a long time. It takes a long time. After they, in fact, mate, the eggs are removed two to three days later by the staff and incubated and reared with puppets. The center is unfortunately not equipped to allow the birds to incubate and raise the chicks on their own. Some of the reared chicks remain at the center for breeding stock and others are released back into the wild in order to try to increase the native populations. You raise these guys from birth and now you're putting them together to see if they like each other. And if they've been together for a year, I imagine. Yeah. And in July, you'll open up the, mm -hmm. the And now we are observing divider. the...
The Philippine Eagle Center is a major education tool to help bring the Philippine people into the fold of conservation and educate local communities on how to preserve this bird. They go out into the wild in order to find established nesting sites and monitor them to try to get up-to-date data on exactly what's happening to the Philippine Eagle in the wild. We are also extending our work in the field. Okay. Especially in our um, established nesting sites of the Philippine Eagle. Mm -hmm. I got a chance to meet Scout who is the representative Philippine Eagle of the center and helps to educate all of the visitors on exactly what it means to be a Philippine Eagle. One of their favorite foods in the wild is actually snakes and the keeper told me that occasionally a snake will wander into the enclosure and the uh, eagles immediately spot them and snatch them right up. There are actually a lot of animals that share the center with the Philippine eagles. There are crested serpent eagles, also various species of hawk eagles, kites, many different types of owls, uh, there's some crocodiles. Uh, there's also a colony of fruit bats that lives right on the other side of the fence, and a couple that live in the center. There's also a family of long-tailed macaques that lives at the center, which is ironic because in the wild, long-tailed macaques would be the favorite food of the Philippine eagle. I was able to meet some of the rehabilitated kites that they keep at the center. Boy, they're really vocal birds. I mean, all of the... Uh... There definitely is, as long as there is a place like the center, which is completely dedicated 24-7 to the management and conservation of these birds. By visiting the center, tourists and travelers give a small donation in order to be able to help save the bird, but they also take with them the story of the Philippine Eagle and, and keep the hope for this absolutely amazing and one-of-a-kind bird alive.